<clears throat> hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use AimLab to improve your Valorant aim by a significant amount. Um, basically, AimLab is confusing for newer players, or just not even like new Valorant players, just people that are new to AimLab. Because there's a lot of stuff going on in AimLab, I think they should probably kind of make it a little easier to find things that are useful. Um, it's not that hard, but that's what this video is going to be about. So. The first useful tool you're going to have is your rank here. It doesn't really mean that much, but it does show you what you could use some improvement on. So if you click on your rank, if you haven't played MLab, there's probably nothing here. But basically, look at all these. There's six categories, and some of these are more important than others for Valorant, but we can practice um, routines that are relevant to each of these individually. So basically, that's what we're going to be showing you in this video. That's what I'm going to be showing you, and I'm not going to do one for all of them, but I'm just going to show you where you can find them. Um, you can see some of mine are better than others, specifically perception and flicking. Um, so if we go to training, this is a tab up here, the second tab. Um, and then we're going to, <clears throat> basically what we want to do, we can either go game specific and Valorant, but what I like to do is, you notice these are the six tabs here that you're actually ranked on, right? So that's what I want us to focus on. So that's what we're going to look at. So right now we have flicking. Flicking is basically each one has a lot of different um, things and you can basically pick your favorite that's the cool part about aimlab some of them you're not gonna like and that's okay some of them you know um, you're gonna love so I'm gonna go and change my sense cuz I know that I need to change it for this yep so now oops so now we're gonna go ahead and pick one um, so I'm gonna go I don't like tracking speed let's actually do a grid shot cuz grid shot is basically what I recommend people play um, but I'm gonna show you some other ones in this video as well that are very useful so grid shot is a classic my aim is probably gonna be not perfect but you get, get the point across Oh no. Uh, that's a pretty trash score for me, as you can tell, minus 12% from what my average is. But the main thing that we're going to be looking at here is our score, but mainly accuracy and time to kill. So if we can keep our accuracy at around 90% that's what we want to do you see mine's a little bit low below because I'm shooting pretty quickly and I'm expecting to hit the shots but I'm just not hitting them because I don't have muscle memory built at this point in time so uh, that's what is happening here uh, but yeah that's what that's how you're gonna do this next we're gonna go back here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a different category so let's go mm. Honestly, perception is an interesting one. So, if you're new to Valorant, or maybe if, if maybe even if you're not, if you have trouble like figuring out where people are based on the sounds, this is uh, very useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just show you what it is. This is one that I remember doing. This is a little bit of an unusual one. So you know you don't want to do this one only, but this is one you can do to supplement other things that you're doing as well. So you just listen for the which one's shooting, and then you have to click it. Try not to miss, obviously. Mm, this is hard.
so there's that. Um, I actually got a top placement, so that's cool. Scores in the top 99 percentile. Let's see, 192,000. Um, I don't think I want to be on the leaderboard, but you can actually, I, if I play this enough, I'd probably get on the leaderboard, because not many people play these, so that's another um, thing that you can use to motivate yourself. So again, that one's a bit of a niche one, but next, something else that's important might be flicking. So something like micro shots can be very useful. Or micro shot, I guess I, sh I should say. So let's go ahead and try this one. Also, if you guys want to make a different video about settings, that can be a different video about how you want like to change these colors. Uh, of, like the background, make it dark and make these pink. So you mainly want to focus on speed and then accuracy. So you don't want to lose too much. You don't want to sacrifice one for the other, but if you can have both, then that's what you want. If you catch yourself missing multiple shots in a row, just take a breath, slow down, and focus on hitting the target. That's what I always used to do for a good shot. Not bad. Score isn't that great, but I mean, you know, I don't normally play this one, so this is also really good for just... The micro adjustments that you would do in Valorant, so I can show you guys one or two more. So tracking, um, tracking is tracking is hard uh, in these. My tracking is personally pretty good because I played a character called Zarya in Overwatch. But we can do let's do circle shot, why not? But these can be challenging, so um, yeah. Tracking is whenever you want to track someone's head in Valorant, basically when they're walking cro across you. Yeah, this is tough. Because of how quickly they change directions. I think I like 80 accuracy for this one. Above 80 accuracy is good. See, I'm right on 80. Almost. Also, of course, the more you do this, the better you're going to get. That's kind of the whole point of practicing something like this. Oh. Yeah, also, if you want to know how to change the background color, change the target color, and um, turn off the weapon, then just let me know. I'll make a guide on that separately. So precision is one that we haven't done. Wait, no, have we? Let's see what cognition is. This one's hard. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, so this helps you, like, basically, it can help you make the certain types of decisions in Valorant, I think. Like, I don't know exactly how to correlate it, but like, maybe shooting, maybe who you should shoot first type of thing. Basically, whatever color the middle dot is, is the one that you wanna shoot. So red, red, blue, blue. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure exactly how this would translate to Valorant, but this is a skill that you could have and that you can learn. So if you if you see it's valuable, then go for it. Not bad. Um, so that's going to be about it for, for this video. If you guys want more of AIMOBS, I can show you guys different things or 
I don't know. There's also a, a Valorant tab if you guys are going to show you th some things in here. This these can be very very useful for actual like Valorant maps. Um, th what I just showed you now is good for improving your aim and different mechanics related to aim. But if you want to improve aim on specific maps and just like map awareness, map how to peek on certain areas on certain maps, and I can show you guys that too. I think that would be an interesting series. But otherwise, um, leave a comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.